Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wallace and Gromit, the Bogeyman. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Alrighty then. Let's see here. Hmm. Ah! Time to tee off! Oh. Tea time. The game is on! Oh! Who am I gonna humiliate today? Wallace, now is it? Is that the best we can do for a challenger? Probably. Oh, watch how it's done, laddie. Okay. Pay attention, Wallace. Hmm. Did you see that? All in one! Am I a McBiscuit or am I a McBiscuit? Your turn, Wallace. Unless you want to throw in the towel. Pick a club. Alright. Well, we specifically want the hooking cleek. It's your turn, so take a shot. You can swing from the laddie's tee right there, or the lashes tee down there. For you, I'd recommend the lashes tee. It is a sound recommendation. Pick your club. All right, all right. Ah, oh, there it is. Ta-ta! Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see who laughs next. Huh? See that? <laughs> By heck, the chairman's missed his shot. No, I never. That were the rubbish club what missed it. Well, your turn. Pick a club. I want the slicing ledge. How many strokes you reckon it'll take him to get off the tee? Show us your best, Wallace. Another shot. Um, something's not right. What's going on? All right then. Which club are you going to use? Uh, I think I'll make use of the straight iron. Here comes the fiend of the fairway. Going to swing from the big boys' tee this time, are you, Wallace? Yeah. Know what? I think I will. Look, Wally sunk the ball. No, he never. Uh, it's a trick. He. Uh... Crevens! Crikey! The golden key! No, the golden key! So for those who missed it, uh, basically we just hit the we just hit the paintings in order of the steps that were that were shown in the uh, books. Hoorah! Now then, let's see. Hmm. It also says tea time. What? Tea time already? So it is, so it is.
Thank you, my good man. Here's something for your efforts. Yay! Hmm. Oh, let me see. Perhaps Major Crummel actually would be helpful. Crum, you've no wish to see Prickly Thicket closed down. Heaven forbid! So perhaps you could help me recover the deed. Helping others? Out of the question. Against club rules. Hmm. That's not helpful at all, is it? Either that clock's wrong or I am. Hmm. Springs could do with a bit of tensioning. Nonsense. Clock's on thicket time, that's all. I see. Hmm. What's this? Eight o'clock? Oh, of course. Silly of me. <laughs> hmm. So what's this bell for? Tee hee. Tee hee time, everybody. Time for a joke. Anyway, hmm. I say, I say, I say, I'm wearing my lucky golf socks today. Lucky golf socks? What the devil are lucky golf socks? The pair with a hole in one. A sock with a hole in one! <laughs> Close that up again. About this Ganges grip, Mr. Paneer, I don't suppose you'd be able to demonstrate. You got the wrong fellow, Mr. Wallace. It's closely guarded secret, they say. Oh, it's a load of old free. If you listen to him, Wallace, you'll be snookered from the start. I'm pretty sure Wallace came that way. Tee hee time, everybody. Hmm. Time for a joke. Uh, fella invites his new neighbor to join him for a round of golf. Neighbors never played golf before. Oh, yes. Awfully decent. Very public spirited. Everything's fine till they get to the seventh hole when the neighbor hits his ball into the bunker. He wax it and wax it, but can't get it out of the sand. You're not using the right club, says his friend. I haven't got it anymore, says the neighbor. Hasn't got it? Why in heaven's name not? Because you told me to eat me sandwich before we came out. <laughs> I get it. Eat me sandwich! <laughs> I enjoy the corny jokes. Hmm. You are welcome to watch, Wallace, but don't stand in me light. Hmm. Oh, this is most discombobulating. Well, can I have a go? Oh, may I? Take a shot, Mr. Wallace. Oh. Uh, 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 um. Right. No bad luck. Hmm. This clock seems slightly cuckoo. Hmm. Only slightly. Now then, I wonder. Revenge! Yes, found it. He's found it's it. It's a silver key. Yoink! Hooray! Done with this. We'll set that back in order. Let's have us another joke. Because why not? Tee hee time, everybody. Time for a joke. I say, I say, I say, 
golfer says to his caddy, I'd move heaven and earth to break a hundred on this course. And the caddy replies, Try heaven, you've already moved most of the earth. Oh, that guy golfs like I do. Rather amusing, that one. <laughs> you've already moved most of the earth! <laughs> oh, ho, 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 Alrighty. Well, let's see. Ask for the Ganges to do the impossible, huh? Well. Right Got you here, now. Riley? This is most irregular. Oh! <gasps> the Ganges grip? I told you, Paneer, there's no such. <sighs> By heavens, he's cross of a key! Talk about a hole in one! Hooray! So with that, we've gotten all three of the keys, so uh... Well, let's see about putting them to use. Gold key, gold lock. Well, that's a significant change to the artistry. Looks like a match. Hmm. I think we might be on to something. The porcelain key that will slide in the porcelain slot. Yay! It's the deed. Hmm. Well, it appears to be genuine. So you see, PC Plod, Prickly Thicket has a wee golf course after all. I see. And where is this land exactly? Well... Hmm. If you can't even establish that, gentlemen, I don't see how... Gangway! Gangway! Used to be in reconnaissance, don't you know? Damn hand at topography. Let me see now. Bit of a rise to the north. River bisecting the 11th fairway. Grove of oaks to the west. Interesting. Where could it be? What is it? is it? Naturally, some of the landmarks have disappeared in the intervening years. But if my guess is correct, the 18th green is located precisely on the spot of ground now known as... 62 West Wallaby Street. That Wallaby. is a bit of bother. And it's not just my house that's in danger. If Chairman McBiscuit gets his way, the golf course will end up covering most of the... But I'm still jiggered if I understand why you're playing golf through the middle of town. If I win the Chairman's Tournament, I'll be named Chairman of Brickley Thicket, Mrs. Gavily. It's only the club Chairman who can call off the wrecking ball. I see. Why is the Chairman's Tournament got to be played here? Well, uh, as the deeds show, Mrs. G, uh, we're standing on the site of the original Brickley Thicket golf course. Uh, you see, it's all very logical if you've stopped to think about it. Yeah. Chairman yeah. McBiscuit sinks his butt, moving him to 20 under par. But let's face it, Pat. You haven't a prayer. Oh, I'm not chucking in the trilby just yet. I've still two holes to play, remember? And I've got one clear advantage. Oh, the yeah? greatest helper a golfer ever had. Well, that's true. Me remote activated auto caddy. Watch I, this! I don't think that's the help in, in question, though. <laughs> uh, 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 here, Comet, how do you like to man the controls for a while, huh? Sure thing, boss. Get away with ya! Give up new while you're still behind! Have you not been humiliated enough? Not by half. Uh, which way to the next team? Well, 
Let's make <laughs> things interesting at least. Two holes left to play. The wee short hole starts here. And it ends oh, right over there. What a shot! Holy mud for Chairman McBiscuit. He's on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Now he swaggers to the 18th D. The long hole starts right here. And it ends. By it for the Bobby Dazzler. Clean out of sight. Oi, Pania! Where's it gonna come down then? Let me see now. The 18th hole. Yes, that would be uh, 62 West Wallaby Street. Oh, yeah. Now, you can play the two holes in either order. Play them both at the same time if you like. First man to finish the pair of them wins the tournament. What do you see? I say... Uh, uh, that's a very sporting offer. I accept. Right then, I'm afraid I haven't got time to hang around here and watch you muff your shorts. I have a victory party to get to. You'd best follow me back to the 18th green, Paneer. You'll not want to miss commentating on my match-winning putt. Hmm. Hmm. Now then, which hole shall we tackle first? Well, we'll sort that out next time. We'll see you then. Later.